pleasure to be here. Uh, my kids don't go to Gera, but I am uh, delighted that a school of this quality exists in Goa. Uh, it's a wonderful school and I'm very happy that you are uh, getting the privilege of such a great education. Um, I will uh, talk in a few minutes about um, what I do now, because that was what I was uh, asked to do, and uh, a little bit about my career journey and some learnings. I was reflecting this morning on what I wish I would have known if I was in 10th grade, so I wish I had some learnings on that also. So hopefully this will be useful. Uh, uh, as of today, uh, if you want your own child to be like an entrepreneur, how would you like train them and like what guarantees that success? Um, the guarantee of so uh, to put the stats on an entrepreneurial success rate, uh, only 10% of companies uh, work, 90% will actually fail. Only 1% uh, will be the 2100 crores or whatever numbers you hear of is the only 1%. Uh, the remaining 9% will be like having a job. You'll have the same outcome. So in a sense, entrepreneurial success rate in percentage is 91%. Uh, 99% will fail. But there is a beauty to this whole thing which I think people don't realize is that uh, you as a person will succeed 100%. So what that means is if you go through an entrepreneurial journey, your chances of the business succeeding are 1%, but you succeeding in the terms of you growing tremendously from that experience is 100%. And then the next thing you do, you do far better. This skill, it takes time, and it takes time to actually develop these kind of skills. And it will help you in each and every field of your, every phase of your life. Like in maths and reasoning. Believe it or not, every examination you appear to, you have a quantitative examination paper, you have a reasoning set of paper, every examination has it. Miss, uh, my question for you is, what basic skills and temperaments does one require in this profession? And what would your advice be to those planning to choose this profession? Basic skill, as I said, that you have to first qualify the examination that has been conducted by Airport Authority of India. It has the same set of, you have English, you have quantitative and reasoning aptitude. Thank you very much for your time. 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 I think, if you've seen the price of the area, it's a flexibility and auto room flexibility. Let's take the future of your industry right now. It will change in like, you know, how do you prepare for the product change? And also, where do you see your industry in like 10 to 15 years? I think hospitality is uh, the oldest that has been, right? It's always been there. You know, a city to a power, like I said, but right from the weather, you come back. Only thing we are charging for it now, even now. So, so, the landscape has changed, there's no doubt about it. Since I started, it was more of a population. The knowledge keeps compounding here. The more you research, the more you read, the more you collect the doors, the more you see patterns in certain businesses, certain leaders who run the show, you see patterns. Worst and best part of your career? It's a, it's a, uh, I, I can't point out one moment. I can say it's a life of regrets. If you really buy a stock, it goes up, you regret that you really put more money. It goes down, you end a regret. Right? And then you sell it, you make good profit, but yeah. after one week you find it is 20% higher. Right? More regret. This is the life of regrets. You need to manage that. I, I wouldn't say that is bad, but it is an emotional journey that you go through.